Do you have leopards here? You can make this. Oh, uh, it's cold. Very cold. They are endemic to Sri Lanka. You don't get them anywhere else in the world. Leeches everywhere. Here, everywhere. Wow. <laughs> the roads are getting narrower and narrower. The kind guy from Knuckles Forest Reserve met us just a few kilometers away from Thanga Pua and we're following his jeep right now to get to Knuckles Forest Reserve. Thank you for meeting us. It's a little bit uh, difficult to find yeah. with uh, Google Maps. Yeah. We're leaving behind the car and now it's only two kilometers to Knuckles. I'm bright and early. Ready. <laughs> well, it's almost 6 30 already. Going to have breakfast and start our hike at 7. It's quite cold, but I know it's going to warm up, so that makes it okay. Coconut roti, milk rice, coconut sambal, egg curry, and sweetened onions. Looks amazing. So we just had a delicious breakfast. And now we're going on a 14 kilometer waterfall hike. I'm so glad we have these. I'm not ready to relive my leech experience. <laughs> I was in Malaysia and there it didn't have this for the hike. And leeches everywhere, here, everywhere. <laughs> so this is the road we took with the 4x4 last night in the dark. And it's about two kilometers long. So this is Sanjit and he's guiding us through the whole walk. <laughs> so we're very thankful. So we just passed a medicine man who comes here to collect his herbs like tree bark, moss, etc. And our guide was saying that he had back pain, used Western medication and didn't help. But then when he used the Sri Lankan medicine, that his back pain was gone in one day. So we're just looking for the cardamom seeds. These seeds coming from roots. Ah, I see them. Do they grow all year round? Before it goes to like uh, February. Yeah, February. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can make delicious cakes <laughs> and curries. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, this is queen of the spices in Sri Lanka. Yeah. 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 It's it's a pepper is a king of the spices. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. I've never seen it grow before. I guess the smell and flavor gets intensified when you dry it. We're going to see where the cardamom is dried. I'm very really happy. When you come back, we can show. At the moment, it's on or not here. Okay. Ah, okay. It's closed. Okay. It's locked. When we come back. All right. <laughs> it's so serene. Oh, there's a nice breeze. It's not too hot at all yet. It's beautiful. All you can hear is the chirping of the birds, the insects, and the breeze rustling through the plants. I think it's still not here. <laughs> <laughs> 
So Sanjit just mentioned that the tea plantations here are overgrown because the younger generation of women no longer want to work on them. They only earn around three to four dollars a day working here, so they've all headed to the city to work in government jobs instead. We're going deep into the jungle. <laughs> We're now entering the forest and it's getting denser and denser as we keep climbing up. It's a pretty tough climb, but the views are magnificent here. I did not consider ourselves beginner hikers. I think the roads in the Netherlands have made us weak. <laughs> <laughs> it's a steep vertical climb up to the mountain. This is the one for the, you know, the silver tip tea. Silver tip tea? Yes, and it's a drying from the sunlight. Okay. It's a type of strawberry. Mm. It's a bit sour, <laughs> but it's good. Do you want to try yeah. some? It's a wild berry. Yeah, it's sour. <laughs> you can hear the sound of black monkeys. <laughs> Are they big? It's hidden. Like that, a little bit chubby. Chubby, yeah. wow. <gasps> wow. They sound really close. They are but very shy, they are not coming close out of the jungle. They are shy. Yeah. Yeah. Thankfully, we have seen no leeches yet because it hasn't rained in around three, four days. So lucky us. Every time we walk through an area of shade, it's like a breath of fresh air. We are now entering the cloud forest because the, the trees here are low because of the wind in this area and they're shaped like clouds. You can breathe with water. What? Really? Yes. Oh. We are entering the natural habitat of two lizard species which are endangered here. The leaf nose lizard and the pygmy lizard. Let's see if we can find them. Jump perm. It's coming from Jurassic Park world. <laughs> How old is it? It's like more than one million. Yeah, like that. These trees existed in the time of dinosaurs. How cool is that? Really cool. So there are a lot of animals in this jungle, but the vegetation is so dense that we can't see them. Do you have leopards here? You have leopards. You here? Why is not? No leopards here? From here, we can see the Knuckles mountain range. Mm. It's shaped like a knuckle. How are you doing, Sanjit? 
Are you tired? No, or? Good. Uh, just <laughs> we, we are yeah. tired. Yeah, we're the ones who are tired. He just disappeared. I've called him Rocky. Rocky is admiring the view. So we arrived at the waterfall. <sighs> that was a long trip, but I think it's worth it. Oh, the hike is tough. There's a lot of uphills and downhills. I think we've already done about 1,000 squats. <laughs> we are about halfway our walk, and what a place to have a break. This is one of the seven waterfalls. I don't think we're going to see seven today because they are very spread out. I think the next one is near Rangala. Oh, yes, it's easy. Yes, yes. Time for a snack. <laughs> we have some egg sandwiches, toffee juice, banana, and a whole egg. This is more than just a snack. Mm. Wow, it's cold. It's very cold. It's also very reflecting. <laughs> that was super refreshing. Now we're going to start the second part of our hike. Come on. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, that's <sweet. laughs> It's amazing how quickly you can climb to the top of the waterfall. <laughs> it took about five minutes. It was a very steep climb. But... It was very steep. I'm so happy we saw the leaf nose lizard. There were actually two of them. And what makes it extra special is that they are endemic to Sri Lanka. So you don't get them anywhere else in the world. And Sanjit mentioned that they can stay in one position for 24 hours, just patiently waiting for their prey. I can't believe how fast this hike has gone. We've already completed three quarters of the hike and only one quarter left to go. We've arrived back in Kalpuya village and are now heading to Tanga, Tangapua. We're going inside of the cardamom oven. <laughs> Oh, you can smell it. Yeah. Strong smell. You just put them in? Okay. No. So this is from this morning? Yeah, I think not. This is last morning or oh, last night. Last, um, last night? Yeah. Last yeah. Um, He's the only one who does this. Yeah, only one. Huh? And how many hours did you do? Uh, 
did you say it takes? Oh, um, uh, 200 kilograms for one 24 hours. Within 24 hours, we can drive. 200 kilograms? Kilogram within 24 hours. Yeah. So that goes from this, this is the raw seed that we picked at the start of our walk, to this cardamom pot. Smells very nice. <laughs> Mm. Very sweet. Eh? Mm. <laughs> Good energy after the hike. It's just coconut and, and, and sugar. And yes. And you are, go hike, yeah. have sugar. Down. Yeah, exactly. 700 more meters and then we've made it and then it's time for lunch. <laughs> That's good. And we've arrived. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sajit. Yeah, it was so much fun. Yeah, we'll see, see you later. later. Yeah. 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 Bye. So we just finished our walk and uh, it was pretty tough, I must say. What do you think? Yeah, I thought it was quite tough as well. But it was just incredible. Like We saw so many animals and so many signs of animals as well that we knew were there <laughs> but that we couldn't see. Yeah. It was almost like a walking safari. <laughs> yeah, almost. <laughs> what was your favorite part of the hike? I think the waterfall, jumping into the waterfall oh, was yeah. the best. Yeah, that was good. It was freezing, <laughs> but really nice. And you stayed in there for a long time. Yeah, I must say many thanks to Sanjeet. He explained quite a lot along the way, which made the walk even more interesting. Yeah, it was and a lot of fun. Yeah, and he's very knowledgeable. So if you guys are coming here, definitely look for him. Anyway, we're gonna shower now and have some lunch and yeah. relax. Yeah. Anna's doing the grandma walk. <laughs> Even though we are so exhausted, <laughs> I think this is the best day in Sri Lanka so far. Yeah, I agree. This has got to be the best day so far. It's just been so eventful, so serene. I wouldn't say relaxing, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. We saw a lot of beautiful places. What an experience. We feel so thankful that we can be here. Yeah. And now it's time for lunch, which we're also very thankful for. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because Sanjit, who went on the walk with us, is still working and we get to relax now. That's true. Tiring, we're yeah, good. Exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> really looking forward to it. Thanks. Rice is here. Rice and curry. Oh. This is more than just rice and curry. <laughs> wow. Wow. Pumpkin, beetroot, as you are calling, amber. Amber, okay. Chicken and non beets. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Fresh fried. Pop it on. Listen to listen to that cry. Mmm. Mmm. It's hardly meal. Excellent. Looks like you devoured. Mm. One, two, three, four, five side dishes. Yeah, I was really hungry. <laughs> I didn't think I was hungry, but then when this food was put in front of me. Couldn't resist. <laughs> Delicious. Yum. Mm. For dessert we have curd and treacle. And they go so well together. The curd is a little sour but very creamy. And then the treacle adds a nice sweetness to it.
so it's time to check out of Knuckles Forest Reserve. But before we do so, let's give you a quick tour of where we've been staying for the past two nights. Super spacious and it really has everything that we might need. This is the king bed. It's super comfortable. We slept here the past two nights like a baby. It's basic but at the same time very luxurious. You have your drink station right here. And what's cool about this place is that they don't use single plastic so it's very eco-friendly. Then as we walk through the hallway, you have a little area to store your luggage. And a whole closet for all the outfits that you can wear in the jungle. We also have these very cool looking lights which function as a torch or a reading light and that's because the whole campsite runs on a generator so they only have around three four hours of electricity per day which is actually really great because it means that you just get to disconnect and be here with your loved ones and that's the most important thing safe to store all your diamonds everything in this tent is double zipped to protect you from the elements outside Basically you have your toilet and your shower and the best part is the hot water in the shower all day long. It's so nice when you get back from your 40 kilometer walk. Yeah, that's basically it. And here you have your amenities, body lotion, shower gel, cream, etc. Everything you might need, even a toothbrush in case you forget yours. Yeah, that wraps up the tour. Hope that you get to one day check it out for yourself. It's time for another adventure in Sri Lanka and where we're going next is going to be a complete contrast to here. So subscribe, turn your notifications on and don't miss our next video. <laughs> See you there. Can you help? <laughs>